float through space and we wonder about generations stick around and let's dive into it on this episode of rolling with t-bone rolling with t-bone says in the great words of modest mouse we'll all float on all right Do me a favor, let me know down in the comments if you saw the promotional video either on TikTok or Instagram. Because that's something new that I'm playing with is promotional videos. I've done it a little bit in the past on uh, YouTube and Facebook, but I really want to try, try to get into that. So if you saw the vi promotional video, drop down and let me know where you saw it. And if you're new here, also, I am T-Ball, and I'm the guy, the crazy guy in the promotional videos. If you're new here, I shoot motorcycle content, basically any kind of content. If you're old here, welcome back. You know what's going on. As you see, R1 is kicked back over here. She is alive. I know I've been giving y'all updates on her for the last little bit. Uh, on a gloomy, rainy day in Georgia, where we got a doctor's appointment to go to, just wanted to jump on here and talk about generations, guys. I have been seeing a lot of memes and a lot of videos talking about Gen X. Everybody seems to be a, a numbered with what Generation X was or is or what it will be or, of course, what it should be. Shout out to Salt and Pepper. But... What is it that separates baby boomers from Generation X, Generation X from millennials, and millennials from Generation Z? Well, that's a broad spectrum of things, but you know what? I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the generation I actually know something about, and that is Generation X. Now, I've heard a lot of people in videos and seen a lot of memes where Everybody's giving big props to Generation X being the coolest generation, being the F around and find out generation, being the don't mess with generation. But what is it about Generation X? Well, Generation X was born at that perfect moment in time where we were the last and the first. But what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is we were the last to experience life before internet, before cell phones. Back in an old time that the late born millennials and Generation Z will never know nothing about. It was a time before internet, cell phones, when we all stayed outside in the summertime and we all played together. That was our social networking. We were outside with our friends until the streetlights came on, then we went in. But we were the last generation to experience a lot of things, actually. We uh, were the last generation to experience not just life before technology, but we were the last generation to do things the old way, the way of the baby boomers and the generation before the baby boomers which would be our grandparents and great-grandparents. And as a lot of Generation X found out as we got older, the old ways really were the better ways. Now, I'm not gonna say that if you take technology away from Generation X, that we won't flip out because I have seen the power go out and I have seen how everybody acts when the power goes out. The Wi-Fi goes out, the power goes out, people start panicking. So. We, Generation X, can say that we're just as cool as we want to be, but at the end of the day, we freak out when the technology goes out too, so we need to quit giving Millennials and Generation Z a hard time about that because we're just as bad. So as we 
think about the stuff that we were the last for. Growing up in the South, we were probably the last to really enjoy going out and being in nature. Now, our kids are, you know, not that disconnected. They love riding through the mountains, riding in the back of the truck. They love playing in the creek. We tried to do it right with our kids and pass on the little bit of stuff we knew. And that's probably, if I have a gripe about the millennials, late born millennials, because see, let me, before I say that, let me say this, the early born millennials, the ones that were born at the beginning of y'all's generation, y'all experienced some of the stuff that Generation X experienced the last of, because some of the millennials were born Although cell phones were around, not everybody had one in their pocket. So the the early born millennials can remember a little bit about that. But for the most part, by the time the millennials got on up to a certain age, there was satellite TV going on. The internet was pretty well much now showing up in everybody's homes. And by the time we got to Generation Z, it was always there. So. But what bothers me is when it comes to the millennials and Gen, Gen Z to an extent, and I'll elaborate on this in a little bit, the millennials were just hard-headed. Y'all didn't listen to anything Generation X had to tell you because y'all came out of the womb knowing everything. We got technology at the tips of our fingers. But here's the problem. Y'all didn't apply a whole lot of common sense to much. And that's what kind of made Generation X take the stance against the millennials that we did. And I'm guilty of doing it, just like everybody else is guilty of doing it. And I will say this, millennials, y'all caught a bad rap. And we probably shouldn't have been as hard on you as we were. We probably shouldn't have talked so much crap to you like we did. Because it really wasn't your fault. Because here's where Generation X don't want to take any kind of accountability for anything. And that's, we all said, everyone in Generation X that I knew all said the exact same thing. We want our kids to have it better than we had it. So we set out to build a world where our kids could have a better life than what we did. And when we were able to give them that life, we got mad because we got lazy and didn't teach them the old ways. That's on us. That ain't nobody's fault but our own. So millennials caught a little bit of a bad rap. But Generation Z, I have noticed that I've been paying a lot of attention to Generation Z on TikTok and Instagram and seeing some of their stuff on Facebook. And Generation Z now at the oldest age is around 25, 26. They're starting to get married, they're having families, they're getting out of college. They're starting to pay attention to the old stuff, which is why in Generation Z's time right now, Generation X is pretty cool. They really enjoy what we did. But here's the great thing about being from Generation X. There ain't no video evidence of a whole lot of stuff that we did. There is some, but not a lot. But. I think one of the biggest things that separated, that separates the generations, and our generation felt it, the disconnect from the baby boomers, because the baby boomers, they changed the way things happened. Now, you have to thank the baby boomers for technology. They were the ones who got the computer, computer condensed down to a size that would fit into your home without taking up an entire room. You know, the baby boomers kind of get left out and pushed to the side, but you really got to tip your hat to the baby boomers for a lot of stuff that we enjoy today. Uh, the music during the baby boomers time was great music. Rock and roll came along. Uh, there was a lot of changes. There was a lot of pushing the envelope for the baby boomers. So from the generation before the baby boomers up to the baby boomer generation, they turned the volume up to eight. Okay. My generation came along and we ripped the envelope up, threw it away, hooked up two 12 inch subwoofers, turned the volume all the way to 10, pulled off the knob and threw it away. 
we didn't just rock the boat we tipped it so the thing that's you know we turned the volume to 10 ripped the knob off threw it away tipped the boat because our generation wasn't just a tell us generation you couldn't look at our generation and just say hey this is the way things are this is the way it should be our generation wanted to know why it was that way don't just tell us that it is show us why it is we were a little bit more extreme uh, the Millennials came along and they had access to a different world than we had like I said Generation X we were the last and the first we were the last to experience life without technology and we were really the first to experience life with technology Generation X was the first to start carrying cell phones regularly put computers in the house to get Wi-Fi to get the internet all that stuff kind of began with us we were the last and we were the first so going from ripping off the knob and tipping over the boat to the Millennials the Millennials were a little bit more subconscious about things mainly because the Millennials were a lot more sheltered than what we were we sheltered our kids we did it was it a good thing to do? Was it a bad thing to do? Opinions are going to vary. But the millennials were a little bit more self-conscious about things. So they dialed it down just a little bit. We kept it turned to 10. That's why we got what we call today, and I'm not being mean and I'm not trying to start trouble. We call them snowflakes. They are Generation X's creation. We created the snowflakes. I'm sorry because... We did look. My generation was the Beavis and Butthead and the real MTV that played music all the time. That was my generation. We were full blast constant. So, where we should have dialed it back maybe just a little bit for the millennials, we not only dialed it, didn't dial it back, we added more speakers, put the knob back on, and twisted it to 20 and then pulled it off again. We were hard on the millennials. <laughs> we, we talked a lot of trash to the millennials. So that's what made the millennials self-conscious about things. Uh, but also the millennials had more internet access. They grew up in the internet world. And then that's what separates them from Gen Z. There's not a member of Generation Z right now that knows the world before any technology. Their technology has been there since the day they were born. Technology has always been around. So that's kind of the dividing factors. Now, I follow Generation Z on TikTok and Instagram and on Facebook. Millennials, I follow millennials, the guys and gals up in their 30s. Y'all are beautiful. Generation Z and millennials, y'all are beautiful. Uh just remember to always have respect for yourselves and each other but the biggest dividing factor between the generations is that it just simply comes down to one thing each generation believes that their generation is the greatest generation of all that's been going on forever your grand great grandpa grandpa great 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 grandpa they believed their generation was the best generation Baby boomers believe their generation was the greatest generation. Generation X, we believe it all. Millennials, Gen Z, so on and so forth. That'll never change. Because something kind of great happens with each generation. With each generation, we evolve a little bit more. We get smarter about things. We do get dumber about things too. Well, let's not, let's not kid ourselves here. We're not just constantly getting smarter. We're dumbing down a lot too, but we are evolving and moving forward. But that's kind of one of the great things about gener being from gener different generations because it's really cool because we're all here at the same time. <laughs> There's still great grandparents that are alive. Plenty of baby boomers and grandparents that are still alive. Generation X is in full effect. The millennials are in full effect and Generation Z is coming into adulthood too. 
So we're all kind of here at the same time. And that's kind of what I've been noticing with <laughs> like uh, the millennials and Generation Z. I enjoy what they're doing. These young people are taking technology to a whole new level, content creating. I've seen some really great content come from these young people. And I know you're probably thinking if you're sitting out there and you're 22, 23 year old, and you found this video and you're here watching it, you're probably thinking, what does a middle-aged crazy biker know about what he's talking about? Well, I've lived a while, I'm 45 years old. I've been on this planet and I've been through some stuff in my 45 years. Scroll down through my old videos and you'll get a lot of my background and my history in those videos. But we're here, all here at the same time at a really cool time in history. And, uh, you know, is one generation really better than the other? That's going to be a point that can always be argued. But for my generation, my generation being where we were born at the time of history that we were born in, we really got to experience a lot of great stuff. We got to see, like I said, not only the birth of technology, but we got to see technology grow. Not only the birth of a new generation, we got to see that new generation grow, become adults, and now we're seeing it again with Generation Z. So we're all here at a really great time. I think personally, just and this is just me again, this is another point that can be argued. You know, I've always thought that I should have been born in the 1950s because I love music from that era, cars from that era, people from that era, stories from that era. But if I'm being true to myself and my heart of hearts, I know that right now, at this point in history, is the greatest time to be alive because we really have so much happening we have so much that we can see happening we have so much that we can be thankful for right now so it's all cool guys the time that we're born and this i know this video kind of seemed like it was all over the place but i wanted to put this video out because i'll say this to generation z y'all are right generation x is one of the coolest generations i can't deny that and if you go back and if you want to just carve out a certain time to learn about Generation X. Go from 1985 to 1995, 96, that 10 year period. Because that was the period of time that really defined who Generation X was. Uh, Cause we got to see a lot of changes. Like just simple changes, like in television. We went from Little Proud House on the Prairie to Baywatch. We went from the TV show ALF to Renegade. I mean, we got to transition and grow a lot. So from 1985 to 1995, 96, check that era out because if you really want to know what makes Generation Tick, that's where Generation X Tick, that's where you're going to find the information. But thank y'all for coming in and checking out this video and hanging out with me and R1 as we're floating through space here. And uh, drop down a comment. Let me know what is it that you think is great about your generation. Maybe I overlooked something. Maybe I should have put something in this video and didn't. But, uh, you know, well, no matter what generation you were born, baby boomer, generation X, millennial, Gen Z, I love you. You're beautiful just the way you are. Remember, like I said earlier in the video, I hate to be repetitive, but have respect for yourselves and have respect for each other. Love each other. That goes a long way. But R1, as you can see, is dolling up over here, getting ready to go into the doctor's office. The radiation went good, as you can see. She looks healthy. She's doing good. She has started her chemotherapy treatments, which are just a pill and a shot once a month. She takes the pill daily. It's a slow chemo process, so it's going to happen over the course of five years, which they're hoping will keep her from getting like really bad sick from the chemo treatments. And it's also the um, hormone. Yeah, the, the hormones has got to get right. I mean, there's a lot to it, uh, but it could have been a lot worse than what it is. It turned out 
you know, kind of okay for us. Uh, it could have been, like I said, a lot worse than what it was. was. But y'all remember to keep our family and our one especially in your prayers and your thoughts. And we appreciate all the prayers that y'all sent up and all the good vibes that you've been sending to us. And uh, we're gearing up. We're getting ready for spring. Hopefully we're going to be back on the motorcycle pretty soon. Shooting moto c content like we usually do. Uh, don't forget guys to comment where you saw the if you saw one of my promotional videos That's something new. Like I said, I'm tinkering with that. I got to get the formula right on it But I'm mainly doing it just as reminders for the future t-bone when he's editing to do certain things because I've noticed that if I have a good idea I've reached that certain time of middle age where if I don't write it down or say it out loud right then I'm gonna forget it completely <laughs> But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Drop down, comment about your generation. Let me know what you think. Tell me what I missed. I'm sure I missed a ton of stuff. But uh, tell you what, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this video finished up right here. Y'all remember to like, comment, share. Go subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow us on TikTok and Instagram. What about R1? You got anything you want to add? Uh, take care. Take care. All right, guys, so that's what I'll say. Thanks for watching. I'm T-Bone. This has been Rolling with T-Bone. Until the next time I see you guys, take care of yourselves and each other.